today I thought I'd have a bit of fun and compare a big box of Crayola crayons with some Carandash Neo Color 1 crayons and see which ones are better. These ones cost me $10 and these ones cost me $74.80. So this should be interesting. So at $10 for 96 crayons, that comes to 9.6 cents per crayon on this side. And over here, these ones are $2.20 each. Now, I do not have the full set of Caran d'Ache Neo Color ones. I think there's 40 something of them and I have 30 something in here. I think about 34. I have bought these individually. They are not even in a Caran d'Ache box. They're just in this Crater Color tin, which I got for free at the art shop they were giving it away. So I put all of my single crayons in here. It was much cheaper to buy them as singles than it was to buy the entire set. I will eventually find the other colors. They didn't have them all at the time. So next time I'm down there, I'll see if I can pick up the extra ones. So the Neo Color ones are water resistant. It's the Neo Color twos, which are soluble in water. So just be wary of that, that these ones are actual crayons, not water soluble ones. And these go in direct competition with the Crayola crayons, which are also water resistant. And there are all of the colors on here. Annoyingly, the sets are not in order. You can see they are organized into six boxes, but none of them are actually in color order and I one day need to sort them, but I am way too lazy for that today. So I'm just going to leave them as they are. And because I have so many more of these than I do of these colors, I have actually gone through and tried to color match as many of them as I can. So I've picked out 34 crowns in here to match with the 34 crowns that I have in the Caran d'Ache. I figure that's the fairest way to test them. Um, and I'm not really going to do any scientific testing today. This is not meant to be anything super serious. I just thought it would be quite fun to compare really cheap crayons with really expensive ones. To do that, I'm going to use one of my coloring books. This is Lost Ocean by Joanna Basford. I found a two page spread, which doesn't look too super difficult. Some of the designs in here are really, really complicated. And I figured that trying to color them with crayons is just going to be super frustrating. So this one at least has some fairly open spaces and I should be able to color both of these sides with crowns without too much difficulty. So that's what I'm going to do today. Crayola will be on this side and Caran d'Ache will be on this side. I can already tell you that these ones absolutely stink. They have that Crayola smell that I remember from a child but as a child I don't think my sense of smell was as sensitive as it is now so I used to really like it but I've been testing some of these colors out and these crowns are making me feel sick already so I I am really going to struggle with them. Ugh, these ones do not really have much smell, so that is in their favor already. And I just remembered I should show you my color sheet. So I've put all the Neo colors on this side and the Crayolas on this side. I've tried to match them as closely as I can. Some of the colors are not quite the same, but it's as much as I can do. There we go, I've picked them all out and matched them with their corresponding color. And let's just take a look at a couple of them. Here's a Crayola versus a Caran d'Ache. So the Caran d'Ache are longer and they are a bit fatter so you do get more crayon for your money and they also do have a lot more pigment in them and the Crayolas will have a lot more wax but let's get colouring and see how they work on the paper. So I started off with the Crayolas and I coloured in a small section before switching to the Caran d'Ache and I've done this the whole way so that you can really directly see the comparison between them. Yes, the central part is a little bit different but the rest of the design is pretty much the same. So I am probably sure that if you have used Caran d'Ache products before it is going to come as no surprise that the Caran d'Ache crayons are vastly superior to the Crayola ones in every way pretty much. I'm not going to rag on Crayola too much because they are children's crayons, they're not designed to be artist crayons. And they did at least put out some colour, it wasn't too bad. But the problem with them is that they just do not layer or blend at all. And so I was unable, once I'd put one layer down, to put any more crayon down because the wax was just skating off the paper. Whereas the Neo Color ones on the Caran d'Ache side, they just kept layering on top of each other and you could build up the colours so easily on it, even though the 
paper is really smooth and that they just have such a higher level of pigmentation in them as well so the color was a lot richer straight off the bat with the Crayolas you can probably see how that wax is just pilling up whereas there was absolutely none of that on the Caran d'Ache side. The Crayolas also were flaking a lot so by the end of this picture I just had crayon flakes everywhere. I tried really hard with the Crayolas to get as much colour on there as I could but it was just so difficult to build up any colour or mix them in together. I went over them several times trying to build the layers but no avail really. Whereas the Caran d'Ache Neo Color ones, you just had to lightly touch the crayon to the paper and it picked up so much color. I mean, I'm sure you can see it for yourself here how significantly different the two sides of the book are from each other. Just reminding you the Crayola's on the left and the Caran d'Ache is on the right, but I'm sure you can tell just by the type of crayon that I'm holding here. So I tried to use as many colors as I could for this. I didn't use all of them but I used probably about two-thirds of the selection I had I would say and I think this gave a fair representation of how the Crayolas stack up against the Caran d'Aches. There really is no contest here the only thing Crayolas have in their favor is the cheap price but they're just so annoying to work with and it's really limiting on how much I could get from them like I consider myself a pretty decent artist. I mean, I'm not the most amazing artist in the world, and I know that artists can work wonders with cheap products, but there is a point where they just will not function any more than what I was getting, and the Caran d'Aches were just light years ahead of them as soon as I touched them to the papers, so the difference there is colossal. And yes, the Caran d'Ache crowns are so much more expensive, but if you buy them individually, as I've been doing, it's not so bad because you can get a handful of them at a time, or you could save your money up and then buy a larger set. But for me, something that's worth more than money is the pleasure that I gain from using particular art supplies, and I gained very little pleasure using the Crayola crayons because they smelt really bad, they were horribly waxy and they just did not perform the way I wanted them to, whereas the Caran d'Ache Neo Color ones are an absolute joy to work with and I really love them. It's the first time I'd really used them because I'd only got them a while ago and I'd kept them so that I could make a video, but I just fell in love with them immediately and they are just so nice to use. So for me, it's a no-brainer that Caran d'Ache easily wins and Crayola is left in the dust.
was going to color everything but I decided that I was just going to leave white space because there was wax everywhere by this point. I think I'm going to call it done here. The paper is just so waxy and so are my hands. I don't know if you can see all of the little specks of crayon that are just stuck into that page. They're just embedded into it. <laughs> but here is the one that I did with the Crayolas. And here is the one that I did with the Karen Dashes. I think you can see there is a significant difference there. So in conclusion, if you want crayons that are going to be awesome, get the Karen Dashes. They're so much nicer. They're just a pleasure to work with. They're wonderfully creamy and they glide across the paper really smoothly. The Crayolas, they were never going to stand up that well, I don't think. They're okay, but they're just not much fun to work with when you're doing a large piece like this. So while these are more expensive, they really are worth the money and it just makes it so much easier to come up with a better artwork. So I would definitely go with the Karen Dashes all day long. I'm probably going to donate my Crayolas to my niece and nephew at some stage, mainly because they're okay but I don't see myself using them, they're just too frustrating. I hope it was interesting just to see the big difference between a really cheap supply and a really expensive one. And if you've been sitting on the fence about getting some Karen Dash Neo color ones well hopefully this helps you make a decision as to whether you want to get some thanks so much for watching i hope you all enjoyed this video if you did don't forget to give it a thumbs up and click that subscribe button and i will see you all again really soon in my next video take care out there swatch you later bye